let's start dive right into the benefits of a living trust. I said that we were going to talk about six of them today on the show. So the first one, the first benefit is privacy. Now, your last will and testament is a public document, you know, through through the probate process. Um, whatever is contained in that will, the names of your beneficiaries, how much they will receive, all of that, it becomes public knowledge. Now, unlike a will, a trust is a private agreement and remains private for the most part after your death. And I, I said for the most part, because there's just a, a couple of exceptions. Um, with revocable trusts, neither the trust agreement nor the assets passing under the trust are typically um, made public. As I said, there are some exceptions. For example, um, it may be necessary to share the conditions or the provisions of a trust after your death to the beneficiaries, right? Or a bank. Um, the bank is going to require a copy of the trust in order for the trustee to create uh, an account at that financial institution. So privacy. 